Let's look at final exam question number 62, found on pages 360 and 361 of Geometry Demystified, second edition. Please refer to figure exam-14 and imagine that you are looking at the right-hand edge of all of these planes. We have this plane right here called X and we're looking right along its edge. So it comes right out of the beige board at us. All three of the planes, in fact, do that. The other two planes do the same thing. Plane Y right here and plane Z right here. So when we look at them like this, we just see lines. These two planes are parallel, therefore we see parallel lines. This will simplify the solution of this problem a lot because otherwise you'll have some spatial perception issues. It's easier to actually redraw the figure yourself like this. Please refer to the question that describes all of the criteria about where all of these points are and so on. Which of the following constitutes a pair of vertical angles so that we know they have equal measure? Well, vertical angles go like that. Let's look at choice A. TWP and RVW. Well, no, those aren't vertical angles. They have to lie along the same... They have to involve the same point, both of them. TWP and UWQ. TWP, UWQ. Yep, that's a pair of vertical angles right here. So the, the answer is B. We can go through the rest of them. QWT and PVS. QWT and PVS. No, because the vertex points are different. PWU and QVR. PWU QVR. No, because again the vertex points are different. How about choice E? PVS, PVS, and WVR. WVR. PVS is this obtuse angle here, and WVR is, is the adjacent <coughs> acute angle, so no, that's not right. B is our answer.